Welcome to my once a month grocery shopping haul from Aldi. Everything you see here on the ta table came to 267. Can you believe that? We're going to talk about some things, go over my meal plan. If you want to see a full in-depth meal plan for the month of March, I'll link my budget family meal plan down below for you guys, but let's go ahead and hop into my Aldi haul for the month. All right, you guys, so we're going to start down here. I got two bags of potatoes. I ended up switching it out instead of doing a big bag of Yukon potatoes like we normally do. I decided to get a bag of golden potatoes and a bag of red potatoes just to mix it up a little bit. We have some sheet pan dinners I want to do this month and these are typically better for sheet pan dinners in my opinion than the um, like big baking potatoes. So I got two of these. Also just a bag of onions for the month. Not all of them looked great so I really had to dig to find a bag of onions that looked good. I also picked this up for my husband if... You've been around here a while. We love the Southern Grove trail mixes. They're so good. Every single one I've tried is really, really great. Um, I've never seen this one here before. It's sweet and spicy Cajun trail mix. So peanuts, butter toffee, Cajun style corn sticks, roasted corn, honey, roasted sesame sticks, and almonds. I think my husband will really like this. I like to get a big bag of something for him just to keep in his lunchbox. And he can snack on it um, as long as he has it around I guess all month long or whatever but it's a big one pound bag and um or almost two pounds actually it's one pound 11 ounces and this wasn't a bad price I think it was like six dollars or something so I think he'll really enjoy this and then he can keep it in his lunchbox and have that um on hand for when he wants it I got a bag of grapes these were an okay price um four bags of baby carrots these actually went up in price these used to be 99 cents for one pound they are now 119 which doesn't seem like a lot but i mean that's 17 cents on something that used to be a dollar so i don't know you add that up it's kind of a lot i got one head of romaine these actually looked great this month um, my aldi's been hit or miss with their romaine lately so i got a great package of that I took a break from these salad kits for a while just because when you eat them over and over sometimes you need a break but I'm back on the grind so this bacon avocado ranch one is my favorite and it lasts a really long time because it's actually mostly green cabbage and cabbage lasts a lot longer than lettuce so this will last probably two weeks or so in my fridge and then I got a Caesar chopped salad kit this one will eat within the next couple of days just to make sure that it gets used up these carrots also went up in price. This is a, I want to say it's a two pound bag. Yes, two pound bag. These almost doubled in price as well. So I don't know, it's just things are, things are going up you guys. So I have to make sure that my carrot harvest in my garden this year is a lot better than what it has been in years past. I actually got two things of raspberries and three things of blueberries, but my son, while I'm filming, ran off with one of the blackberries, which is totally fine, but these blackberries were a stellar deal. They are 160 a case right now. And when I tell you, it took a lot in me not to grab like a whole flat of blackberries and come home and make blackberry jam because blackberry jam is my favorite jam on the planet. It's so good. And one of my goals, like, over the next week or two was to actually make some jam um so i might actually end up running back and getting a whole flat of blackberries and just making uh, a year's worth of blackberry jam for myself and getting that on the shelf before we head into like spring and summer and i get really busy just to get it up and get it done with and check a project off the list right away also got two things of mini cucumbers my kids love these my kids asked for some jello so i got four packs of strawberry jello because that's what they had and then um, my kids like to cut these up into squares, obviously, and we throw these in lunch boxes and the kids snack on them. They love it. So we got lots of those. I also got three bags of gala apples. These were kind of pricey. That's why I only got three bags. And then I'm getting all of my oranges from Walmart because they were a way better price at Walmart than they were at Aldi. I went ahead and got five of my tomato soups. <laughs> they actually had them this month and I'm a little ashamed to admit I took every single can they had on the shelf because I only go in there once a month. I've been missing this. I haven't seen it the last couple months, so I took every can they had on the shelf, which is something I never do, but I got five cans. This will last us a month for sure. We've missed it. There we go. This is another thing that I'm hoping to can this year, um, but we'll see what happens. I got five pounds of butter, which was actually a huge chunk of my budget because butter prices keep going up. 
They're insane, but this is what I need for a month. Moving into some cheese, I got four bags of Colby Jack. I'm making some freezer meals for my sister-in-law who's having a baby, so I needed some cheese for those meals as well. Two two-pound bags of mozzarella for all the pizzas we're doing this month. Uh, I got four things of Colby Jack blocked cheese. My kids like these in their lunch boxes. This is kind of what we use for string cheese. And we go through one a week typically, so I got four of them to last the month. I also got two things of mild cheddar because this is what I use when I make homemade mac and cheese. I like to use shredded cheese because I think it just goes a lot faster. So we got those. We're doing nachos this month, so I got a thing of tortilla chips for that plus my kids love to have tortilla chips and some of our homemade salsa so we always go through a bag of that a month so this isn't coming out of my grocery budget but i did get this i keep an eye on the facebook aldi pages and this was nine dollars you guys 9.99 so ten dollars but my kids love lego so i went ahead and picked this up for them they will love this they will enjoy this i also got my son a matching game um i'll throw it up here but he's playing with it right now there's no way he's gonna let me take it from him but it's batman and all the superhero themed and he loves that so i got him that as well now this is also something i saw on the facebook pages guys check your facebook pages just join one group or even on instagram and um they show really awesome things that Aldi's releasing and people will actually give you reviews on them, how they like them. So that way you don't waste your money. Also, if you think you're going to like it and it's all the rave and then you end up finding out that nobody likes it so you can skip it. But these have awesome reviews. So I picked up these Sunday Shop Chocolate Chip Sandwich Cookie Duos. These looked really, really good. So I picked these up and these actually weren't a bad price. These were $4 in some change for six bars, which isn't super terrible for like a specialty ice cream. And I also got the cookies and cream version. These look really good. So I think I'm gonna hide these <laughs> from my kids and me and my husband will enjoy these as like a treat because my kids have other treats um, that they're getting from Walmart that are like ice cream. So we'll keep these for ourselves and the kids can have the, the other ones. Now, it's really funny. So I was talking with my girls about spring break and what meals they wanted to have while they were home from school. And one of my daughters wants chicken nuggets and french fries. And I thought to myself, how fun would it be to get those smiley face french fries because I never buy them. I typically, we're trying to like make our own french fries. We've been dabbling with that. And that's what I was gonna plan on doing. But I went into Aldi and guess what they had? the smiley face french fries. So I got two bags, they were there, and it was almost like, you know what, it was just meant to be. So I got two bags of the smiley face french fries for my kids to have during the week that they're off for spring break, or when my husband does a fish fry, we'll throw in some of these smiley face mashed potato french fry things, and they'll love them. So it's just like a fun thing to have for the month. I do get questions sometimes on why there's not a lot of meat in my grocery hauls, and that's because we buy our meat in bulk. So we actually have a pig coming in like in the next two days. We just got a call from the from the shop saying that it's package wrapped, ready to be picked up. So we're gonna do that in the next couple days. I'm gonna try to film a video on that probably. But we have we buy our ground beef in bulk, and for all of our like roasts and steaks and things, we do venison. So my husband will hunt. We'll get the deer and then we do venison steaks and venison roasts and things like that that's where we get that cut of meat from so the only thing that we have to buy from the store typically is chicken and then my husband is an avid fisherman and we have tons of trout right now because the trout run is like just done and my husband was really successful in that we have a lot of white fish and a lot of pan fish because my husband is able to ice fish for those things um well trout also he'll ice fish for but Usually he's a lot more successful in like the pan fish and stuff just because it's what's stocked locally here. But um, I did pick up a thing of salmon. So turn the camera around and show you guys back what's on the grocery haul. But that will answer some questions and why there's not a lot of meat here because our freezers, we buy that stuff in bulk or we hunt it and we fish it. And then we will just buy whatever meat that we can't do. So all that being said, the only meat products I need to buy this month at all was a couple bags of chicken breasts so i got two bags of chicken breasts i probably could have gotten away with just one bag but like i said i am doing some freezer meals for my sister-in-law so i got two just to be safe i did get a big fillet of salmon we're doing salmon patties this month we haven't done them in forever and this was pretty expensive this was a big chunk of my budget at 21.66 so 21 dollars for 2.4 pounds of salmon so there's that 
I did get two bags of berry medley. This is my kid's favorite frozen berries. I do have some blueberries down in the freezer yet, so I only got two bags this month just to make sure that we're also going through the blueberries that we have down there. Now, when it comes to tortilla shells, typically I get two of these 20 packs for 40 small tortillas for the month. My kids use these in roll-ups. When our kids have tacos or something, they do these. I make quesadillas out of these for lunches for the kids. It's just a smaller tortilla. It's easier for the kids to handle, especially if we're doing tacos. Because if we're doing a huge taco shell like this, they just can't eat it. My kids are all seven and under, so we like these small ones for them. However, it's gotten to the point now where we're definitely going to need three. So I got 60 of these small tortillas for the month. And I'll throw these in my freezer and just pull them out when I need them to keep them fresh. I got two things of these larger flour tortillas for the month. My husband likes breakfast burritos, so I can do some for him. And then just a bigger pack for us to use throughout the month for some meals. I did get a box of hard shell tacos because we're going to do baked tacos. And I think... We're gonna do them in the hard shell tacos this month. My husband likes it when I have some mac and cheese on the shelf for him for like when I'm not around for an easy meal for the kids. So I got three boxes of macaroni and cheese for that. And then just some pantry things I needed. I need another thing of olive oil. This is what I use in my bread. I'm gonna make a Sam's Club run probably in the next couple of weeks here and buy like a big bulk version of olive oil so I don't have to keep buying this little one every month. And then I needed some more coconut oil. This is what I use instead of like Pam or cooking spray. Um, and we go through a lot of this because we fry eggs every single day here because of our laying hens. So I go through coconut oil really fast. And then I didn't plan on buying this because I didn't know it was gonna be around. But this is one of my favorite coffees of of all time it's just really really good so when they have it I always buy one or two just for like a special thing for myself so I did get two bags of caramel macchiato uh, coffee beans and these are really really good this is ground coffee but it's really good it smells great it tastes great usually they only carry this in the fall time or like through Christmas and then it's gone so I was pleasantly surprised to see it this month so I got two bags of that I got some crackers here these saltines I use in my salmon patty recipe um so i needed saltines for that and we always get a thing of these golden round crackers they're really good my kids love these another lunch they want to do while they're home for spring break is lunchables so we'll probably go through a couple sleeves of crackers for that and then they actually had a new two or three new kinds of these uh the lunch buddies fruit snacks and my son loves fruit snacks it this is one of those like store-bought snacks that we we keep purchasing because my kids love them they're so easy to throw in lunch boxes and stuff so we got the mixed berry so it has cherry grape strawberry and raspberry i got two boxes of these this month they also had one box that was just this strawberry flavor and then that traditional like tropical fruit flavor that they typically have so we got two boxes of these and that concludes my $267 Aldi haul. One thing that I noticed today or I realized for the first time today while doing my grocery shopping is how quickly I can get in and out of the grocery store because I'm only buying ingredients. And I know that sounds crazy, but the more that we are providing for ourselves, especially like meat wise, vegetable wise, fruit wise, just becoming more, um, producing more on our home and in the homestead the less i have to buy at the grocery store and the more simplified grocery shopping is becoming month after month after month and it's crazy because the more i'm learning the more skills i'm acquiring whether that be bread making bun making um pie crusts rolls croissants like all of that cookies cakes all the fun little treats the more skills you get under your belt the less you have to purchase and the more simplified grocery shopping actually is becoming i was in and out of the grocery store in probably 15 minutes and it's it's wild to me it was just a realization i had today and i thought i would share because i just thought it was really interesting thank you guys so much for taking a little time out of your day to hang out with me I hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are and I will catch you guys in the video. Bye.